Hey everybody, it's Chris Demetric here from TDW. Well, the sun is shining, it's the middle of summer, and I want to get out of the shop. I got to get out and do something that's kind of different, unique. I'm on vacation, and I'm just hitting a bunch of projects that I wanted to try or do. Well, have you ever heard of light painting? Light painting is a system in which you uh, have a long exposure on your camera and walk or swirl colored lights, whether that be an LED strip or a laser or a flashlight, and it has this cool kind of long exposure. It almost looks like you're using an after effect or a special effect, um, but all you're doing is simply taking a picture and moving the light in this darkened area. You need to have some type of SLR camera that allows you to set the exposure to more than 10 or 12 or 15 seconds. It has to be completely mounted on a tripod, so you have to make sure whatever you do, you have a rig that you can mount because there's no way you're going to be able to hold that perfectly still. Uh, you need to have a really dark area like a backyard with no lights and then you need a light source. Now, I went online and found this uh, company who makes these LED strips on Amazon and they're really designed to sit sort of attached to the back of a TV. Now these strips, I think it's probably about six foot long, and they're powered through a USB cable. Now when you plug that USB cable and you have some controls over the colors and things like that that, uh, uh, that you can do with it, but it'll allow it to be completely mobile. What I did is I got one of these little battery chargers. Now these, you know, back to school time, they're probably 15 or 20 bucks, but it's a power source that's meant for charging your phones and your tablets and stuff like that. But if I plug that into here, it should work perfectly, give it power, and I can be completely mobile to run and frolic about in the backyard. So, hey, it's an experiment. I'm not sure how it's going to go, but let's go ahead and put this thing together, and then we'll run out to Dad's, which is a nice, dark area, and we'll take some, uh, some magic of painting with light to see what it'll look like. So, all right, just check it out, and then we'll see what the results are. They should be cool. So I'm going to utilize this long uh, piece of trim that I have because it's flat on one side. But I want to uh, prepare the surface, so I'm going to clean it up with a little acetone. Yeah, I want to round over the grip a little bit, so this seems like it's the easiest way to do that. Just using some washi tape in order to tape up the handle. Good quality tape that's applied to it already, so I just have to peel off the backing and uh, make the connection. There's no tape on the little controller, so I'll just hit a little uh, little glue gun with that. All right, so I've got it all set up. I'm going to go ahead and plug in a battery pack to it. And that should kick it right on there. And I'll be able to take this into the back and set it up to do some cool uh, effects. But let's take it out and see what it looks like. Okay, so I've got my stuff laid out here. I figured before it gets dark, I should have everything all laid out and it'll be important to have like a head lantern, um, just so you can see the buttons and whatnot. But everything's all laid out, ready to go, just waiting for it to get dark. So chill out, have some pizza, and wait for dark. Now the other thing I brought was some steel wool and a wire whisk on a string and we're going to use some time lapse with that as well. You need to have something to ignite it with so I've got my um, lighter there. Listen. 
definitely was a fun project, so thanks for watching. This is Chris from TDW.